What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC.com. So what we got going on today is we have the Charisma. This is the Range Rover 1981. It's a 110 scale, already comes with a battery, so it comes with a nickel metal hydride battery. And then um, get a little charger, USB charger with this. So anyway, let's take a look at this box real quick here before we get it out. It's all sealed up anyhow. I'm kind of showing it on the live stream, seeing what you guys thought of it anyhow. But um, I like it. It's even got light buckets in there and everything. So it'd be pretty cool. I know it doesn't come with any LEDs, but uh, we can always add those to anyhow. So flipping this thing over, you can kind of see as far as the box art on it anyway, without the glare. So it looks pretty good. Um, basic radio, nothing fancy on that one for sure, but there's our nickel metal hydro battery there, how it's strapped in there. Uh, it does even have steel UJ driveline, so pretty cool as far as that one goes. So. Um, Electronic speed controller that's in there, capable of 2S LiPo, so it definitely is friendly on that one. Not a 3S LiPo, but a 2S LiPo, and you'll be good. Um, that'll be a pretty nice little deal. So anyway, without further ado, let's get this thing out of the box, take a look at it. All right, there we go. Nice. Very well packed, I must say. Even little cushions everywhere like that. So they were definitely con thinking about the consumer as far as making sure that it comes to them very well packed. So kudos to them for, again, this is my first impression on the Charisma and so far so good. Like the box as far as its construction. So all right, let's get this thing out of the box now. We got our radio in there. Truck, and see stickers in there. Like there's already, they've taken some, is there more stuff in here? Yes, there is. It's probably our, let's see what's in there. Okay, bumpers, stuff like that. Like instructions. Oh, wait. wow, this is a true ready to run. Surprised, um, very nice. This is very rare that you actually get a complete ready to run. All right, so stickers, you can see there's been stickers already taken off to uh, apply in on the vehicle itself. But you got some additional ones there too. So let's get this. Oh, looks like that's good on that one. Is this gonna come right out? Yep, yeah, okay. So the radio well packed in there. Let's take a look at that anyhow. Uh, one of my other friends, he has one of these as well. So I was like, okay, so fake knob here. Uh, but you do have your, I'm looking at the same time. So your steering, throttle trim, so you can adjust that. And ATV. Not sure if that's actual, if that works or not. So it'll have to be something we'll have to check into. Off and on. And then our four double A's at the bottom of it here. It's almost like active traction. I don't know, active, don't know what it is. But it, it is all plastic. But honestly, it feels pretty decent to be honest with you as far as the steering on it. Like the spring has got a nice uh, resistance on it. I do like that. All right, so there's your, Bumpers, front bumper, back bumper. So we got a little tow hook on the back of it too. Very trailer. So it's pretty cool. I like it. All right. Double A batteries. Everybody knows that one. This is your USB charger. So it does have the Tamiya type connection that's on there. You know, we'll probably cut that, put like an XT60 on it or so. But teach their own, you know, you don't have to do that. You can keep it as it is and you're good to go. Little parts in here too, side mirrors. Looks like for the back as well, like your uh, back lights, probably your front lights might be in there as well. Not 100% sure, it even has a, wow. It's pretty detailed as far as even just has the rear view mirror for it too, pretty cool. Other little pieces that are in here that I'm not 100% sure what they are. Oh, these might be for like the bumper bracket. Yes, what that is. So this is part of the bumper bracket. You do get a little T-handle wrench, what have you. It is feels plastic and it does have double stick tape on there as well. So that's probably for mounting maybe some of the, the lights or so. Wow. You do get an Allen wrench and there you get one. <laughs> and then also your instruction manual must come in quite a few different langu languages, I'm assuming. Yeah, it looks like it does. So quite a bit there, I'll have to check that over. Anyhow, so I'd recommend you guys do the same. Body clips out. Right, take a look.
look at that, man. There's quite a bit of detail to this thing. Just the way it looks, like that front. That's nice that they put the stickers on there, so thank you. Even that tiny little sticker there for the Land Rover. It's nice on that one. I did, I did think that these were, hmm. I, I'm wondering if they are covered up and then you can take it off and they're clear behind them. Let's take a look. Okay, so, right. So if we look on the back here, we got spot for our headlights and then also our turn, our uh, turn signals, things like that too. So we can put LEDs in there as well. Cool, very nice. Taking a look at the back side of it here as well. So um, same thing as far as the rear, that's what we have these little pieces that are in this bag that we can go in here and we can put LEDs in the back. So I will be doing that, not in this video here, it's gonna be just unboxing, but um, I think LEDs kind of just add that extra little bit of scale touch and this thing definitely is craving <laughs> as far as LEDs for it, it definitely needs it. All right, so let's get that. Wow, this thing's even got windshield wipers on it too. Wow, pretty cool. We can set those down a little bit. So yeah, the little windshield wipers, pretty cool. Maybe like a full tour here as far as the spin of it. Really nice looking. Definitely an 80s vibe for sure as far as on the color. But I'm okay with that. I mean, it is what it is, it's cool. All right, let's take a look at what we were looking at before. Um, are they bead locks at all? They look like they probably are. Yeah, they are a little. Looks to be a bead lock in there. Springs on it too. Have a pretty thick shock that's on there as well. Sounds like they they're needing a little bit of oil in there potentially, but uh, to get it going. Tires are pretty soft on it too. I'm not sure how the foams are, but for me, um, here in Florida. You know, foam's getting stiff because of the temperature or anything like that. It typically doesn't happen. That's like one day out of the whole year. So, all right, let's take a look at this battery. What do we get with this thing? So that way, out of the box, and maybe some people are gonna say, well, how long will it run? You know, it's gonna vary based on your usage. But, all right, so it's a 1400 milliamp battery, nothing special, but this will get you started. Um, if you're looking, you know, you wanna get more runtime, I would go with the LiPo maybe like a 5,000 or so. But even if you're gonna go with a nickel metal hydro battery, you know, maybe go with a 5,000 milliamp if you don't like lipos, you know, you can still stick with the nickel metal, but, uh, and, but you can increase that runtime by uh, quite a bit if you just go with a higher milliamp on it. You know, you keep it at the 7.2 volts, but just go at the higher milliamp. So you can do like a 5,000, because it's gonna have more storage in your battery. So just for some of you guys that maybe are unclear as far as to the batteries. So um, looking at the bottom of it too, it's kind of, so these little, these are steel. It's pretty nice as far as their, we'll call it drive shafts here. Nice, even the linkages right there. I gotta say, they're probably, yeah, they feel aluminum. Uh, aluminum or steel, hard to say. One of the two, unless I had a magnet, I could tell you as far as probably. But yeah, all little linkages seem to be metal. At least, yeah, they're all very nice. Okay, good deal. Um, as far as the motor goes on it too, I'm not 100, okay, it's a 35 turn uh, brush motor that's in there. It looks to be a 540 motor. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, it's definitely a 540 motor. It's not as long as like a uh, 550 would be a little bit longer. And then you have your on and off switch right here. So nice little heat sink that's on it. Your your little box as far as where your receiver sits in. So cool. How's this thing? All wheels are turning. We're good. So I like it. Um, I'll get a running video of this thing here soon. Here's your servo. Right up in there. I see your steering servo. This stuff seems to be pretty good. All right, so articulation on it. sure that we're not getting the back tire up and off the ground. I'll put a link down in the description below too if you guys wanna get one of these. Just gonna kinda go over this thing a little bit. Lots of adjustments that are on here too. I like that. So as far as the linkages go, but I'm looking at as far as the, sh the, the body 
post. And lots of adjustments that are here. So if you want to put a different body on it or what have you, you can do that. Even uh, shock adjustments. So we could make this thing a little bit taller also. So there's, wow, there's a lot. Lots of little adjustments. I don't know how much you can see, but you can see all those little perforated holes that are there, all those holes. So you could uh, make this thing higher. And it does have like bump stops, I guess what you'd call them. Anyhow, these little clear things down at the very bottom of the shock. So that way when it's compressed, it only goes so far. So nice on that. So yeah, and obviously it is four wheel drive, so it's, you know, everything's locked, so all wheels turn at one time. And yeah, we'll have to see how this thing works. I'm wondering how good these tires will be. But um, for it here in Florida, it's not bad. I'm not gonna be critical with it, but you can always watch other, um, other reviews on it too, as far as that have better terrain than here in Florida. But I figured guys, give you a shot as far as to, uh, you know, taking a look at this thing here too. Like I said, you can always pick this up at omgrc.com. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for a running video of this thing. You guys take care and thank you again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this with your friends. Thank you for watching. Thank you.